morning. <laughs> Everybody's still asleep. I'm trying to slip out here. So I'm going to go do a little bit of fishing. Okay, so here's the game plan. I woke up late this morning and Rich is already out at the beach. So I'm going to go and grab us some bait real quick. I'm going to hope to catch some mullet out here on the channel. And then we're going to go spend a little time at the beach because we've been on a lot of adventures in the last couple of videos. Offshore, caught some big fish out on the jetty. A lot more time spent offshore again. Today, I just want to relax at the beach and have some fun catching a ton of fish for the girls for dinner. Always in holes to come back and get some bait and there was just a police officer parked here <laughs> I had the camera going in the bed of the truck so that you know I could get that little shot driving down the road just now I pull up to my spot and the cops sitting here so I stopped I got the camera all dismounted and stuff like that because this is the road out to the island here they asked me what I was doing oh I left my camera in the bed of the truck some stupid youtuber <laughs> he drove off now I'm gonna get a little bait before he comes back <laughs> See what happens. So I actually prefer the beach conditions when they're like this. It's a little bit harder for the fish to find the bait that we're putting out there, which is exactly why we want to be using live bait. They can sense that fish swimming around, they can hear his heartbeat, and that's what they're going to be looking for. Uh, looks like the neighbor got one. I can hear him from here, he's so excited about it. Yeah. Look at him go, go you buddy. Uh, looks like he lost a little skipjack. And while I've got that other big rod out there, I also want to see if there's whiting or some other smaller stuff hanging out in here. So I'm going to cut up a couple pieces of mullet and chunk these out into these inside guts just to see what's wandering around in here, see what we can get. Didn't even feel them on there. Oh, 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 about to feel them though. You got to stop kicking, buddy. It's the only way I can get this out for you. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to be totally honest with you. I hate 
casting off of the beach like this. I rarely get any fish in this first gut, and I hate seeing people doing this. But this is my opportunity to have a little downtime and relax while I'm waiting for the bigger rod to get something nice. I'm still fishing, and well, I'm just kind of relaxing. Just a free day at the beach, man. Oh, this feels good. We've been putting a lot of work into those other videos. Wearing ourselves out, man. One of those was like a 30 hour trip. You know, I mean, they're all like 16 hour days. We got a lot of fish in the freezer. It's been too rough to get offshore now. I get to have a beach day. This is relaxing. I think we all need more beach days like this. Am I right? Oh, he's got something. I'm gonna get in. Let's see what he's got. That's looking good, man. I don't see him yet. He's crossing the bar now. Be in the sun right over there somewhere. You guys, is that a shark? You got him tail hooked. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad little size. Bad to eating size right there. There we go. Yeah, show us that hook. That's that's crazy. Somebody else got him in the jaw too. Look at his jaw. Oh yeah, he's been he's been hooked before. Didn't learn his lesson though. Not having a lot of luck fishing this first gut to the little bait, so I'm gonna try it in the next gut. Gotta get right on the other side of that wave. Oh yeah, nailed it. Exactly where I wanted it. I'm gonna walk it back because I just want to kick back and relax on the beach because I'm having a fun day. On rough days, I'll stand out there in the surf, get beat up, try to catch fish, but today, I'm just shy of getting myself a 10 a.m. beer. And I hope I didn't cross my own line doing that. I'm a little close. Oh, whatever it is, I think it might have just got off. Let's see. Maybe I do got a little guy. And, well, they got the fish bite. I still got my bait, though. A fresh piece of meat here. A little trick I'd like to do. I like the pink and the orange fish bites, and I like the shrimp flavored, but crab also works good. If you're looking specifically for redfish, be easy on myself by putting a little hole in it. Sometimes they can be hard to get onto a hook, especially when it's already got bait. I like to put my fish bite on after I put my bait so that that way it goes to hold the bait onto the hook a little better. And that color, whiting like that color, it looks like these henas and sand fleas in the surf. Ooh, a little chilly, just a little chilly. No complaints here though, I love life. <laughs> There's the sandbar. Okay. 
you really want to get good fish, you need to get out to that other sandbar. But that could be a pain, especially on a day like today. Real heavy surf makes it hard. I'm not even going to attempt it. All right, and yeet! I'm over here and clean my lines while I'm at it. Want to give that big rod its best opportunity to succeed, and that means keeping the lines clean and keeping a good fresh bait out in the water as long as is physically needed, as long as required. Rule number one, you want to get fish, you get your bait out into the water, where the fish are at, and you keep that bait fresh and you keep it in front of them as long as is needed. But I mean, this is a perfect piece of size. This is the size right for life. As opposed to the one in our last video with Rachel. She was not happy about us keeping that big guy last time, but it ate well. Now we can make her happy with a little geeky baby. <laughs> 